All right, restoration continues on this 2008 Utasca Navion. And I'm getting close to being done. If you've been watching any of the videos, I think there's over 30 videos now of restoration of this. But uh, today I've been working on this restoration system using the wires. And I started out with 49 oxidation elimination. I'm not done yet, but uh, this is the, I've done the lower half so far, uh, or most of it, and I'm still working on it, but it is definitely a great improvement. It does remove all the little stains and things that you don't get by regular washing. And I'm using just a old buffer system I bought off Amazon. Works pretty good. And I'm going around the whole coach now, and it really is giving it that new look. So, stay tuned, more to come. I'm starting and continuing with number 49, I believe it is oxidation. All right, so here's the first part, 49. You shake this stuff up really well, and I pour it on the pad and then dot the pad up on here and uh, then start the buffing. If you turn the buffer on before you uh, touch it, it'll just sling it off in your face. So take your time, it'll do the work for you, the buffer will. So, but it does a good job. It's taking all the any old black streaks and so forth out. Okay, and one thing you want to do is do your graphics separately. I do notice that I'll get bleed over. If I try to do these graphics, it'll bleed over. And then it's a horrible time getting it off because it will leave like a stain. So do them separately. All right, kind of windy, but uh, a great day for what I'm doing. Now I am on the second stage, the polish stage. And uh, you can see it adding, starting to add a polish. But I think more importantly, what this second stage does is it puts oils back into the fiberglass. Because I use that oxidation to remove a lot of the markings and the old chalky look and stuff. And now as I look closely, it looks like to me like it's adding an oil. And I'll find oil. Even step three, the final step, when I start waxing, it's going to really bring out a shine. Now, I've used a different pad for each one. I used a large pad to do the oxidation remover. I'm using a yellow pad now. now. Some people use different pads, but that's what I'm using, and uh, I'm satisfied with the results. One thing I have noticed is that the uh, Graphics are going to be more difficult, I think. We'll see after the final polish. Now, some of them have come out and are already getting a nice polish and shine to them. But over the years of the collect, some of it's starting to chip and peel. And uh, I'm not going to be able to, I don't think I'm going to, be able to do anything with that. They'd have to be replaced. But uh, we just continue on. All right, now step three of this is number 56, pure wax. And I'm going to be using a uh, different brush here to apply it. So I've done the st first two steps now. So, I mean, it's made some pretty major improvements. So let's see what this final wax coat will do. All right, I thought I'd show you as I polish out on the third uh, product the wax you can see where I'm buffing out now the bottom and I think the camera will show you you can see up top where I haven't quite finished but you can see the shine coming in from using the wax now versus the top so it's definitely definitely putting the oil back into the uh fiberglass and uh, protecting I'm sure so it's certainly in that regard it's a wonderful thing I'm sure uh, to add years of service to it so uh, but uh, been a pretty big improvement 
All right, this is the final product. I'll show you. I did go ahead and do the top too. I think it definitely put a good shine to it. More than anything, a good protection. So, alrighty, your turn. And I did want to remind everybody to wear ear protection as you're doing this. That, uh, especially if you use that buffing machine because it gets kind of loud over time to protect your hearing. But there's the other side now. Alrighty, so another job done. It really buffed out the doors, cargo doors, I could see. They certainly look much, much better. That oxidation remover is the first step in the process and it really does a good job of getting rid of all that old chalk and stuff that you find black streaks and stuff on the side of your motorhome. Anyway, thanks for watching again and stay tuned for another video.